So you finally bought new heads to replace the ones that have been on your kit for the past two years. And you're left with, you know, all these drum heads. So the question is, what can you do with all these? So there's a handful of things you can do with old heads, and one of them is to make O-rings. So here I'm just cutting out a disc that's the same size as my snare. And then I'll put it inside this head, and use the outer ring as a guide to draw the inner ring. If that made any sense. You just gotta cut it out, and there we go. So another thing you can make is a snare strap. So I have this old one that I'm using as a template and I'll just trace it and cut it out. And as you can see, I'm not the best at drawing straight lines. So now you basically have a lifetime supply of snare straps. You just gotta throw it on your drum and you're good to go. So this one's pretty popular, but you can put a head on your snare drum and make it pretty fat. Or, sorry, mad fat. Yo. So you can also cut the head out, and this makes it a little bit more portable. So this one is from a head that's the same size as the snare. So all I did was cut off the rim and you're left with this little lip. So it's kind of hard to tell through the camera, but this one has way more low end than the other one. And if you listen to the floor tom, you can hear it ring more so than when I hit it with the others. So I don't know how often you'll need to do this, but drum heads make really good stencils. So they're way more durable than paper, and a lot easier to cut out than cardboard. So I'm kind of cutting this one quick, but if you take your time, you can make some really nice stencils. And if you remember this, this was cut out with an old drum head. So probably the most basic thing to do is to reuse them. So I have a kit that stays at home, which is this uh, Star Classic, the sparkly one. And then I have a black Yamaha that I use for shows. So whenever I get a new head for the Star Classic, I'll put the old ones on the Yamaha. Now this isn't the most ideal situation, but it really saves you some money. So another thing you can do is scrap them or recycle them. So pretty much every head out there is either made with a steel or aluminum ring. And now steel and aluminum are worth money. So I've said this before and you probably know this, but aluminum is worth more than steel. So I only bother saving the aluminum rings. And the way you can test to see what it is, is to use a magnet and if it sticks to the rim, then it's steel, and if it doesn't, it's aluminum. So I've also said this before, and you're not gonna get rich scrapping drum heads. The price of aluminum is only like 50 to 80 cents a pound. So really, your best bet is to save all these heads, take them in all at once, along with other scrap aluminum if you have any, and get a few bucks. Oh snap, bonus. Okay, so not really, I kinda just forgot to put it on the list. 
but you can cut out a square and hot glue it to the clamp of your bass drum pedal. So now you don't have to use an old stick sleeve. So I want to challenge you. Next time you change your heads, ask yourself, what can I do with these? And try to think of a unique way to use your old heads. I'm also curious to know, what do you do with your old heads right now? Do you throw them away? Do you save them? What do you do? So I hope this video inspired you to do something with your old heads. I also have these playlists that I think you might be interested in, so feel free to check those out. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe.